One closing thought, you know, when we were chatting before, we talked a bit about grit and the ability to be resilient in the face of adversity and reflecting on your story of being the first Moneyball player. You know, here we sit today, it's an amazing inspirational story of somebody who reinvented the game of basketball. But I could imagine in the moment, it was maybe a hard situation to be in where everyone in the media and the news is saying, Battier, like this guy, <laughs> like, come on. And you're, you're hearing that, you're existing in that environment and yet needing to show up and deliver. How, how did you think about being resilient and using that as an opportunity to become what you are today? Yeah. Well, again, I had, I had the, the blessing of being different. And what changed for me, um, I really struggled with my race uh, and my, my racial identity when I was young, because I had no, no role models. Mm -hmm. And I used to just isolate myself. I lost myself in school, lost myself in basketball, because I was scared to offend people. And what I realized when I was in high school was, look, I'm a good person, I do my best, and if someone doesn't like me for me, I can't control the outside narrative. All right, I'm a good person, I believe in who I am, and that's all that matters, right? And so in basketball, you know, you get a lot of feedback, all right? <laughs> You know, Twitter, Instagram, you know, Joe, Joe the Butcher at Milam's, like, you know, everyone, everyone's telling you what you should be doing. Um, you can't make it in the bigs, and, you know, we're going to have future CEOs in this room, CFOs, CTOs, CIOs, right? You have to be able to separate the outside narrative, what we call the noise, from what's real, mm. right? And you, and you have to be able to look at yourself, understand, like, where you are in that journey, and understand that like the outside noise, whether that's the Wall Street analysts, whether that's, you know, whoever, they don't know what goes on in the locker room, your locker room, right? And so only listening to what's real and being able to block out distraction is going to make you that much of a better of, of a business person, executive, right? Understanding what's real, what's real. And so that is one of the hardest things as you climb the, uh, the road to success. Um, because everyone is going to have an opinion. Mm. And very few matter. <laughs> right? And so, uh, I, again, I had that gift when I was young to understand that, look, I'm never going to have swag. All right? You know, I'm never going to be the highest score, you know, selling jersey in the store. I'm not going to be a high flyer. I'm not going to have the most Instagram followers. That's cool. I'm going to have an awesome life. I'm going to be proud of the work that I've put in, and I know what my contribution to the teams that I've, that I've been a part of. And that, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm most proud of.